Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 7, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start with like looking at uh, ARK Innovation ETF, and as you can see, this has uh, fallen off a cliff yet again today. We're down more than 3%, and uh, we're trending underneath, way underneath the 200 moving average. I made this line yesterday, and I can actually just get rid of it because we have basically broken these uh, resistance support levels here and are trading well be below the 200 moving average. So what we'll most likely see now is that when we rally here, then the 200 moving average will act as resistant and not as support as it has been doing in the past. We have also the crossing here of the 20 exponential moving average, probably also 50 um, in uh, the long run, but uh, that is to be seen. So this EDF has basically been hammered the last, since basically mid-February, it has lost roughly a third of its value. So minus 32.29%. And uh, yes, um, EDF that loses a third of its value in, in, in this short of amount of time, that is not a good sign, to be fairly honest. So this is full of uh, companies that were referred to as disruptive companies, I would just call them really risky companies to invest in. So when they're doing well there, you have massive gains. But uh, when it goes wrong, it basically, uh, well, it really goes wrong. So at this moment, we are technically looking at a drop towards the 300 moving average. So that's another drop of roughly 12.36%. That could happen, it won't happen at once, but that is looking like that is where we are heading to. So that is a drop from the top all the way down to the 300 moving average of roughly 40.66%. So nearly 50, not 50, but 40, uh, 41% in, in that short uh, amount of time. That is absolutely horrible, to be fairly honest. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is very negative. Its uh, momentum is to the downside. We're significantly oversold at this point. CCI is really negative. It's the same for the stochastic, and we're significantly outside of here of the Bollinger Band. So we haven't been here just for one day. We've been here several days, and a pullback, of course, at this point should be expected as we're significantly oversold and significantly overbought. But it will be interesting whether or not the 200 moving average will act as resistant at this point. So DVI. So DVI uh, has rallied above 1% at the end of the session. It was really good at the end of the session. Uh, we are getting significantly overstretched here. We're way outside of the bullish band, so a pullback could be expected. Uh, Technically, the otherwise are very bullish. We're on the edge of being overbought as well. But a really good uh, move at the end of the US session pushed this significantly higher. We'll mostly find some major support down here at the 20 exponential at 117. Uh, but at the moment, it is really risky to buy this as we are significantly overstretched here and nearly overbought. So let's look at VTI. So VDI did fall below the 20 exponential and then rallied at the end of the session. Uh, we reached close to the bottom of the Bullinger Band and now we settled just above the um, middle of the Bullinger Band. And this is a really good sign for the CTF. We could go and retested these uh, previous highs. That's a move of give or take 1.24%. However, technical indicators are not looking that favorable, even though we have a bullish run in the end of the session. MACD is bearish, the C RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, and stochastic is bearish at this point. So technical indicators are not supporting a uh, move to the upside, but who knows? We did fall, found major support, and then rallied. So uh, anything can happen. We can at least confirm that this level here, which we have tested several times in the past, we can write it up here. We tested it right over there as well over here and over here several times has hold. So for 214, it should be major support if we were to fall again. If this breaks, then we could fall to the 40 and the 50 if, if, uh, if that basically breaks. So let's look at MCHI. 
So we found support here at uh, 200 moving average. And uh, yes, it is in, we have been in before. We saw it right here when we had tested it in around three times and uh, we nearly tested it here and then rallied. But now we have had a great gradual grind towards the 200 moving average and we have pierced it and then pulled back and have settled just above the 200 moving average. So we could rally and we'll most likely find the major resistance up here at the 50 moving average so a rally of 2.75 percent there's where we most likely will find major resistance at we did the same thing here hit the 50 and then dropped so if you look at English they are fairly mixed but they are turning around so the MACD is still bearish the RSI is flat the CCI is bearish and the stochastic is turning around still in bearish territory but we have hit the bottom here of the Bullinger band and that's could mean that we could rally up towards the middle and that's at 80 82 and the top here is at 83 so 83 is well be above the 50 moving average so it has to be really bullish in order to get through that break below the 200 moving average well then we are looking at a massive drop towards a 300 so let's look at ivb so also here, end of the session, we rallied significantly, found support at the 20 exponential at 415, give or take. Technically, they are still very bullish, not bearish. We have the MACD is bearish, the RSI is uh, kind of flat, the CCI is flat, the casting is bearish, but the middle of the Bullinger Band was holding and we rallied above that and now we're approaching the top of the Bullinger Band. So I'll most likely find major resistant here at 422 that's also where we found resistant in the past we also have this upper trend line so we could rally even further and find major resistant up around this area so a rally of roughly 1.79 percent to the downside 200 moving average has been significant support so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new suggestions and you're welcome to join us over a page on the link is down below good luck and thank you very much Thank you.